What is up guys? Darius Dangerous here, bringing you a video, not necessarily another video because I know I have been out of commission for ages now, but right now I just feel the compulsion, I gotta do this review, I gotta do this Toriko chapter review because this morning I was so satisfied with this chapter that I really think that, yeah, yeah I wanna do a review, let's do a review. So, Toriko. Chapter 386, I have to say, this was a very, very hype chapter of Toriko. I, I look forward to Toriko more than any other manga week to week. Because honestly, in terms of just pure distilled hype and excitement, nothing beats Toriko for me in, in, in a week to week show I'm in currently. The only thing that really even competed was Hunter Hunter, and then that shit was uh, Nine Hiatus. But yeah, I've been looking forward to this chapter really, really badly since last week, and it really, really did deliver. Um, the chapter opens up, and uh, we're right back there with Joa and uh, Medora. Uh, Medora has last chapter after kind of going into his whole his his full course. Which really was just uh, all the things that he learned from uh, what's her name uh, from, from Froze. Froze basically was that nigga's a uh, full course <laughs> in, 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 in essence. But uh, we open back with with, with, with Joa just just on fire, dying because of Medora. I guess Medora's food luck just to just totally destroyed Joa. Stood no chance. So we open up with. Uh, with with with, uh, with Joe dying, fucking Akashia gets in there and fucking uses knocking in order to um, he uses knocking in order to uh, prevent Joa from dying, and then uh, we get fucking more hype from uh, from Toriko. This was literally some over nine thousand type shit out of DBZ. We we got capture levels for Akashia and for uh, for, for the for Neo Demon in his full form after eating. Um, I'm assuming after eating, after after yeah after uh, Akashia ate the whole full course. Neo's capture level was twenty two thousand. Twenty two thousand was perfect. Was was Neo's fucking capture level in his perfect form. This blew me away. F for weeks now, I really was kind of curious. How strong is Neo? And, and how strong is, 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 is Akashia after uh, eating Neo? And this, they literally put that shit in perspective. Neo's capture level was 22,000 after eating, uh, after, after Akashia fucking uh, ate the full course. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's after he ate, uh, after he ate God, yeah. And Jesus Christ, it 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 makes perfect sense now, doesn't it? Doesn't it make perfect sense how the eight kings were completely and utterly annihilated by Neo? The, the highest eight kings is is what Whale King Moon is sixty six hundred. Fucking Neo Akasha is almost fucking four or five times stronger than the eight kings. No wonder they couldn't do anything. And now, we find out that Akashia, after, you know, when he was in that, like, perfect golden god form, his capture level was 8,000. So even he was far above the fucking eight kings. And just a little bit below god. Neo fucking two times as strong as god. Oh my lord. But together, and I was actually surprised. I thought this was going to be so much worse when Toriko was explaining this. Uh, like 22,000 Neo, 8,000 Akashia. I thought this shit was going to be multiplicative their power. I thought it was going to be some like uh, <laughs> like some dead shit when you when you use uh, fucking uh, add conditions on demand and you make the power multiplicative, you know, exponential instead of just add, uh, additive. But 22,000, 8,000 capture level. 30,000 for Akashia. Ah, oh my god, this, 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 this monster. <sighs> Nobody can touch this, can touch me, can touch Akashia right now at this second. It's insane. 
and then after revealing that Akashi was at thirty, it was at thirty thousand. Oh man, just just the dialogue off of Manga Stream. Yeah, you know what? It's I love how in Toriko everything ties back to food. It always ties back to food, even in in, in ways that that honestly makes the series just really entertaining for me. So you got Akashi just saying like, "There are no more snacks or meals left in your future." Looking like a, a complete savage, uh, like a, a total monster. Ugh. Akashi has got to be one of the most grimy shonen villains that we've ever seen. I mean, seriously, this dude is 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 slimy. He's he's, he's <laughs> after all that shit they reviewed with Rose. He can't treat a good a, can't, can't treat a good woman right. That's fucked up. But man, then Medora. I actually thought this was pretty funny for Medora. Medora talks about how numbers numbers don't mean shit to him. Thirty thousand points. So are we playing a game? He don't give a damn about no capture level. Although he really, really, really should. And I'm very concerned for Medora. Unless Medora gets his hands on God and sends her, there's no way he's going to be. I don't. Medora's a monster, but there's no way he's he's up to thirty thousand. I'm thinking he's. Maybe eight king, like above the eight kings, probably. Yeah, he has to be above the eight kings at this point. But there's no way he can touch 30,000. Oh, God. But then you see Akashia just, he just blitzes on Toriko Stargen and Medora just he's in their face in an instant. And already he, he just wants all these people dead. So Toriko already goes in there with the nail gun, and Medora goes in there with the hungry bomb. Starting with the fire spear, they attack him. Akashi eats all that shit. He doesn't care. He goes in for the blow because of Medora's, uh, not Medora, but Starden. I'm getting the confused. They're so fucking similar looking. There's no way in hell that uh, <laughs> Medora ain't the dead of <laughs> Starden and Antarctica at this point. But uh, yeah, ne ne Akashi goes in for the blow, trying to take off Starden's head. But then Starden has, you know, gourmet clairvoyance, so he's able to, you know, see a little bit into the future, so he can adjust, uh, he can adjust and dodge the move, but fucking, you, you're not on Neo's level, you're not on Akashi's level, Akashi's already adjusting to the attack, it's immediately, but then, fucking Toriko goes right in for the infinite nail punch, and Akashia cancels that shit out in fucking two movements. All he had to do was two two movements, and he was able to fucking counteract those next to the infinite kooky punch of a Toriko, who at this point, I don't even know how strong Toriko is. He, he must be eight kings level or higher at this point, because um, yeah, he had all the four cores except for God and Center, and then Chiji fucking brought him back to life, feeding him his own body after, you know, getting all inundated with all the fucking red nitro from the, from the gourmet pyramid and shit, just he ate all those niggas, and then he fed himself to Toriko, and said that Toriko was dozens of times more powerful than he was before. So at this point, Toriko is incredibly powerful, but it's still, it ain't, it ain't enough, it ain't enough. Fucking Medora tries to use, you know, the hungry space, and I actually thought he was doing some damage, but <sighs> Acacia just, oh, he's, oh, he's too much. He's too much. He's just, he, Medora says to himself, he's just tanking everything. He's tanking everything with brute force. And then he goes in there with a new attack, gourmet buffet. Everything with this nigga is gourmet, God. <laughs> and then fucking, of course, Medora tries to counter using minority world, but Akashi already knows what it is. He already knows what it is. He comes in there. He's not attacking Medora directly. He's not. He's not attacking him directly. So when Minority World activates, all the attacks come towards fucking uh, Medora anyway. But of course, Medora has the hacks, the ultimate hacks that is Gourmet Luck, which is honestly, you know, honestly, Gourmet Luck is one of the most broken abilities I've ever seen in not just anime or manga and anything. Gourmet luck is literally hacks personified. The only thing that makes it even someone 
I guess not, you know, broken, is the fact that it, you can run out of luck. And fucking Akashi, oh my god, is getting pissed at Midori. You're just going to rely on that too, huh? He, he don't respect gourmet luck. And this really kind of probably confirms me there. Akashi doesn't have gourmet luck. He is just a brute, pure power. And it's all why he's needed chefs with fucking gourmet luck in the first place. So then, you got fucking Akashi. He's using the God's grasp. It's fucking his hand. It's just coming out from underneath the earth to grab and crush Toriko, Starjan, and Medora. But man, out of the blue, Medora just grabs Toriko and Starjan up with his tongue. And honestly, he, Medora kind of got some of the weirdest fucking <laughs> anatomy you've ever seen. And fucking with his fork tail tongue, he can grab two people at once with. Man, Akashi is like, uh, that was all about. I was just, I was just trying to get you vulnerable, just trying to get you, Medora. You're my, you're my goal. So fucking, he's going in. I think it's basically the gourmet spank coming down. It's so huge, it's, uh, Medora's just like it's too big. It's too big. So you got Starge and fucking. Oh my God, I've got you. No, I'm gonna crush you, Akashi. This is just like I'm going to crush you. See, I've, I've already read this shit before, and here I am. This is almost like a semi second live reaction because this shit really is hype. Toriko goes in there, and this is what I love. You get some really good feats from Toriko in this chapter. Toriko's going in there. He got his fucking arm, his devil arm. Goes in there with the fucking jet fork, and it looks like Akasha, like Akasha took that. He's like, I, I felt that. Like, I could feel that. And it didn't seem to do too much damage to him, but the na the the fucking nail gu uh, the the jet fork goes just straight through the Earth's crust, and it's just it just keeps going into space. Like the penetration of this ability is is hilarious. I remember when, when fucking Toriko couldn't even get his goddamn fork to reach those uh those like capture level two hundred things when he first landed into the fucking gourmet world. Now Toriko is at an insane level of power. And then right after the jet fork, he goes for the jet knife. And this shit was hype. This looked like fucking Akashi actually was struggling with this. He's going, rrr, rrr, rrr. he's trying to, you know, defend himself. But, oh man, this thing. Toriko slices a section of the earth like a fucking, like, like, like cutting a, a a hard-boiled egg. He just slices it clean off. I have no idea whether this is whether this section of the planet is going to go into outer space, or if it's going to come crashing down to Earth. Th this isn't. This is honestly a pretty insane feat, especially when you consider how big the Toriko planet is. Like what, 500 times the mass of our, our of the actual real Earth. So this section of the planet. <sighs> I don't even want to think about it. That, that shit could be the, the, the square footage, of, like in terms of uh, square miles or whatever, that could be the equivalent of, of the Earth or a bunch of different continents. So, oh man, that was sick. But that 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 must have done a little bit of damage to the country, just a teeny bit, because he was pissed. He was angry. And he went in on Toriko. He just rushed him. And just start going in, 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 aura, 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 aura. And this is also the thing I like in Toriko. Like, I need to really look this up to see how much damage or, like, what kind of yield you need to make a mushroom cloud type explosion. Because, honestly, the whole physical blows creating mushroom cloud thing, creating mushroom cloud explosions is, is extremely hype and awesome to me. Ever since... Who was the first person to do it? Was it was it um was it Guinness? When when Guinness was just slamming around fucking Akashi in his with in his in his fangs, just in his mouth just slamming around and making mushroom crust. Was that the first time we saw something like this? Because this I've always I really like this. I don't think I've really seen this in the show to market. Just physical blows creating such ridiculous mushroom clouds. It really kind of sells the power. I'm thinking Toriko is taking like I don't even know how many megatons per punch. Like I don't even. Yeah, <laughs> Akashi is definitely throwing megatons <laughs> with his with his with his, with his fist at this point. But man, after just laying into him, fucking get a mushroom cloud. 
Akashi is just in awe and, and look, he's like Toriko. What are you? Just what the hell are you? Seriously, because he's still alive. He's like, why are you even still here and living after taking that brush? And so Tori and so Akashia going nuts is just thinking, oh, I get it. So you must have you must have eaten God or sent her or something, right? Didn't you, Toriko? And little Toriko just sitting there bloody, is like, no, not yet. There were people I wanted to let eat it before me. So I, I wasn't even thinking about this, but I really hope this is the case. I've heard other people review this, and now, now, now it makes sense. Chiji should have revived the other fucking four heavenly kings by now. Uh, Coco, uh, Sunny, and Zebra. So hopefully they're going to come back and they'll have eaten God. And considering how powerful their gourmet demons were, they might come back more powerful than yes yes i actually think so they will come back more powerful than toriko because their demons will be more unlocked i mean already they already kind of gave us some of the feats of those of those gourmet demons you know earlier like how sunny's demon like controlled the entire galaxy and fucking uh uh nothing could even survive on a planet with zebra's fucking gourmet demon the sound demon like th these demons had so much hype behind them so I'm hoping we're actually, you know, going to get to see this. Like, I mean, especially Zebra's demon, because Zebra, oh my god, I've never seen a character. Ugh, man. Zebra used to be so awesome, but he just has not gotten good shit in a while, and it, it's frustrating. I don't know how many times he's done fucking uh, air, you know, sound cutters, and he hasn't been able to do shit to nobody in, 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 in a minute now, so I'm hoping he can do something to somebody. But yeah, Torgo's saying that he wanted to let other people eat God before him. You know, because Toriko's that kind of dude. He's not selfish. He wants other. That's that's his dream. He wants everyone to, to, to. He wants all the people in the world to sit at the same table, eat together, fucking live in peace. That's what Toriko wants. But Akashia just, he just looks at Toriko and it's just like with such disappointment. He's just like, so I see. In other words, you were underestimating me. And then. I swear to God, I've heard people say this. Mr. Toshi should do a horror manga because this is horrific. This face that uh, Akashi is making right here, his jaw just, just, just totally just distends. He has all these different teeth and stuff coming out. It looks savage, and he's going right in there trying to about to eat Toriko, swallow him whole. And once you're eaten by Neo, you're done. There's nothing left. Then the sad part happens. Oh man, this is this is so fucked up. Stargen comes in, off he just comes in, blocks Toriko, gets like his whole like midsection completely eaten by Neo. It's gone. It's gone. It's completely gone. All he seems to be is an upper torso and a fucking and legs. And I just that's the final power. I just don't. I don't think Star is coming back from this. I really don't. It's it's pretty sad, but uh, this is this is Neo fucked him up horribly. Oh, just a torso and a foot, just torso and feet. It's oh my god, man, Star. It's rough. It's really rough, but the chapter was really good and I really can't wait for next week's Toriko, especially after this type of cliffhanger. I just don't even know. Like is Toriko I don't see Toriko just getting, you know, like a rage boost. I think some difference gonna happen. Maybe the four heavenly kings will come in and start to tangle with Neo and Neo Akashi, Akashi just Akashi at this point. They'll tangle with him. And after eating God they should be able to, you know, put up a decent semblance of a fight. And I think then Stargen's gonna probably have some final words with Toriko, maybe even reveal that they're, you know, that they're brothers, they're brothers, and that uh, Midoriya's their fucking father. But, man, I, I honestly think this the way this is gonna go down. I think Stargen is gonna offer his own body to Toriko, and then it's gonna have him eat him, or eat his gourmet demon, to, you know, to raise his power up even more. I, but I don't think Stargen's coming back from this. I'm still not exactly sure how 
like regeneration works after you've been eaten by Neo. I remember Don Slime had his head taken off by Neo. And um, he was able to uh, recover from that. But it seems like every other person we've seen Neo eat or take parts of, we haven't seen any regeneration. Is the Horse King dead? Is the Horse King Yellow Kids dead? Is Bambina dead? Is uh, fucking Emperor Crow super crippled? Like, what is going on? But I don't think I'm going to see that. It'll, I guess once once Akasha goes in on Medora, then we'll really understand whether you can regenerate or not. And maybe that's just a gourmet cell demon thing, and that's why Don Slime can do it. But, um,. Yeah, once Akashia starts to really get one on Medora, we'll see if, if you can regenerate after being eaten by Neo or not. Because I just I don't know it, the fact that we haven't seen Heracles come back. That's the type of shit that really. Oh yeah, people are saying maybe the Heavenly Kings, not not the Heavenly Kings, but the Eight Kings, maybe they also got some of God. They could also level up and get more powerful. That would be very cool, especially because I mean I think the Eight Kings were some of the coolest things in this manga easily. And it was really, really disappointing to see them get destroyed by Neo just because, well, not all of them. It was disappointing to see the Eight Kings we really hadn't seen much from get destroyed by Neo. If they had had, you know, arcs centering on the different courses, the different parts of Akashi's full course, and we had seen, you know, what they could do, like Bambina, like Heracles, it wouldn't have been as painful, but since the fact that we did not get those full arcs, I mean, you know, for obvious reasons, um, yeah, it, it, it was pretty crushing, even though it was kind of hype to see Neo just, just rip into those guys with no effort at all. But man, so, that's the chapter, that's my review. Hoping, I think I'm gonna do more of these going forward, especially, you know, Toriko, it's probably gonna end chapter 400 or something like that so I think I will keep doing these reviews I think next time I'm gonna try for a live reaction couldn't do it this morning was too pressed for time but it was mm, was too pressed for time to do a reaction it was not too pressed for time to fucking read Toriko uh, so all right see you guys later have a good one Fairy Stingers out